how police will enforce this. CBS 17's Michael Hyland talked one on one today with Wake County's dist district attorney to find out how they're handling this. Michael. Right, restaurants like these are going to have to close earlier. There are even rules about who can be out on the road. So I talked to District Attorney Lauren Freeman here at the Justice Center with all the exceptions in place about the challenges that it will be for enforcing this. An overnight curfew starts Friday in North Carolina. It's the latest step by Governor Roy Cooper to address the rising COVID-19 numbers. There are exceptions for going to work, religious services, and essential activities like going to the grocery store. Wake County District Attorney Lauren Freeman says it will be challenging to enforce. I would expect that as a first response, you're going to see people maybe pulled over, educated, you know, regarding what the curfew is um, in an attempt to get voluntary compliance. She says police will address what she calls blatant violations and says most charges during the initial stay at home order in the spring came against people who were stopped for some other reason. Does Wake County shifting from being categorized as a yellow county to an orange county this week do anything to change the strategy or approach for dealing with this from an enforcement standpoint? All of us are trying to use um, our voices. All of us involved in public safety, public health here are trying to use our voices, our positions to really encourage people. Let's let's come together. Let's do the right thing. Do you think that's been an effective strategy to this point, or does anything need to change? I feel like we've had overwhelming mass compliance. You know, I think during the shutdown earlier in the pandemic, largely people were staying off of the road. Certainly our traffic enforcement numbers would back that up. You know, I, I do think that certainly as this drags on, all of us are getting, you know, worn out with it. Violating the executive order is a class two misdemeanor and the maximum punishment for that is 60 days in jail or a thousand dollar fine. But the governor is encouraging local governments to use civil penalties for here, not criminal ones to enforce it. Once this goes into effect, it'll be in effect for four weeks. Live in Raleigh, Michael Highland, CBS 17 News.